All right, guys, we're going to do another ballistics test here for you. What we have is we have the Ruger LCP. That's going to be our test gun. And what we're shooting out of is we're going to be shooting the uh, 90 grain spear gold dot 380. Uh, what we're going to be shooting is we're going to, this is a little bit different. We're going to be shooting through a hogshead into jugs of water. So we're going to test the penetration through bone and tissue. Um, and also we're using four layers of denim as well to represent, to simulate clothing. So let's go ahead and take the shot and see how this uh, 380 performs. Okay, this is the 100. This is the 90 grain spear gold dot. 380. And it helps to put your ears on. Ouch! All right, guys. There is the exit of the uh, of the round right here. Okay. Uh, do you have that, uh, my, uh, Flash. flashlight? Right okay, let's, uh, show you guys. It's kind of, yeah, see there, there you can see it right there. There's the exit wound. We'll show you the entrance. Flip it on over. There's the entrance. So, we're looking at, you know, probably, how long, how far do you think that is? I'd say, here, move your hand on this side. Entrance is right about here. Exits right about here, so you're looking about six inches, six or seven inches of penetration through uh, bone and tissue. All right, now what it did was we had uh, the entrance into the first jug here, and then what did we have a, and then we had the second right. jug, and then the third jug it pen, it tried to penetrate, it tried to exit right here, but uh, what happened was. Um, was this the third this jug? Is the third okay, jug. that's the third jug. So it actually pierced the third jug, but it stayed in the second jug. So let's go ahead and um, uh, empty it out, and we'll see how see how well it did. I have a feeling it did not pen or did not expand on this one, but we'll check it for sure here. Oh my gosh! Yeah, look at that huge deformation. It did actually expand, but the pedals just got slammed backwards in it. So most of the skull. yeah. So it definitely expanded. You can see the pedals expanding there. But what happened was the the pedals that actually probably going through the bone just slammed the pedals back up against the the round. So that's actually really impressive uh, penetration and expansion from that round. This is my carry load of choice in my LCP. So that makes me feel a lot better. So we had probably seven or eight inches of penetration through the skull and through two jugs of water. All right, guys, we'll take it back and we'll run some numbers on it. All right, guys, there you go. Uh, 0.454 at its widest point. Um, I'm gonna. I gotta tell you guys, I'm really impressed with uh, this little 380, uh, considering the fact that it went through four layers of denim. I measured six and a half inches through the hogshead of both bone and tissue and then did an additional two jugs of water. I think that's pretty impressive uh, penetration. And considering the medium in which it passed through, I'm, I'm saying pretty impressive expansion as well. You know, the 380 is not known for its incredible power uh, deposition, but I'll tell you, um, this is definitely uh, a good load uh, for consideration in the 380 arena. You know, um, if you shot this back to back with uh, Winchester White Box or uh, Remington UMC or some other, you know, like PMC, other uh, Full Metal Jackets, you will notice that this round definitely, whoop, definitely has uh, more punch to it. It definitely has a little bit more felt recoil, and uh, you know that felt recoil. Uh, comes with the addition of more power so I can handle it. Um, it definitely is a little snappier in my LCP. The numbers that we recorded uh, for for this test was 971 foot or 971 feet per second from the muzzle and that equated to about 188 foot pounds of energy. And you could see um, from the hog the hog's exit point that it wasn't really um, depositing massive amounts of energy. We didn't see large uh, you know, like an exit wound or anything like that. But um, 
it still had good good ex, uh, good expansion and good penetration for uh, what it is and that is a 380 uh, jacketed hollow point so anyway guys if you're carrying a, a 380 for self defense or home defense definitely consider the gold dot as a, a viable option for you I think you'll be well served with it <clears throat> and uh, and I think it's uh, some pretty pretty good performance from this little round so anyway guys let me know what you think uh, leave go ahead and leave your questions or your comments down below I'll try to get back to you and uh, and don't forget uh, to subscribe right there at the top of the screen if you uh, want to see more like this. And uh, don't forget to rate the video. And if you want to favorite it, that helps the video out and it really helps us, uh, helps the channel grow. And I really appreciate it. So, all right, guys, as always, thank you, thank you very much for watching. And we will catch you in the next video. See ya.